clean, reliable water has always been the lifeblood of California. Its availability has shaped cities. Its pathways of delivery have retooled the landscape and contributed to one of the world's most productive agricultural regions. Claims to it have fueled debate for more than a century. But the future of California's water is uncertain. Demand is surpassing supply. And a changing climate is bringing longer droughts and more extreme floods. Despite its significance, most Californians are unaware of where their water comes from. The connection from source to tap. Now, it doesn't make a difference where you come from in this great state of California. But especially here in Southern California, many folks know that when we turn on the tap and we turn it off, that's our source of water. But that's not our reality. Our healthy source of water comes from way up north, comes from the Shasta Mountains, comes from the Sierra. California's vast Sierra Nevada range rises to capture rain and snow from the clouds drifting eastward from the Pacific Ocean, providing a full 60% of California's developed water supply. Sierra Nevada of California spans a distance of 400 miles north to south uh, and about 80 miles east to west as the crow flies. The Sierra Nevada is source water for an enormous amount of water that is feeding the cities, the agricultural communities, and the economies of California. The Sierra Nevada hydrologic system, the, the system that provides the water to California, is what's known as a snowpack-driven system. Snowpack in the Sierra provides a natural form of water storage, but a warming climate is expected to decrease that snowpack by up to 40% by 2050, Warmer temperatures will cause what snow we do get to melt faster and earlier, compromising its natural ability to store the water for slow release into the long, dry summer months when it's needed most. A real problem for our water supply. But recent research has shown how restoring Sierra Meadows can help counteract the effects of a changing climate. Meadows serve as, as, as a sponge, if you will. So, Again, the snowpack is there, the warming months occur in the spring and summer. That meadow absorbs the water as the snow melts. It holds the water and then later on in the summer and fall months when it's warmer, that sponge, that meadow system is squeezed, if you will. One of the benefits of restoring meadows, in addition to all the ecosystem benefits and recreation benefits that you get from it, is that with the warming climate, as we've already seen during this drought, uh, a restored meadows will keep more water in the soil to carry it from the wet season through longer into the dry season. And that, that's really useful for a lot of the human purposes as well as the ecosystems. By restoring degraded Sierra Meadows, we can create a more resilient and water secure California. But the Sierra alone doesn't meet all our water needs. Another important source water area is in far northern California. In the area around Mount Shasta, there lies a vast network of underground water. When you follow a drop of water from north to south in California, this is where the journey begins, in the greater Mount Shasta area. And the reason for that is because the landscape and geology is shaped by volcanic eruptions over the last several million years. Those volcanic eruptions formed vast expanses of contiguous permeable rock. And that permeable rock allows water to filter into the earth, forming these ancient aquifers. Some estimates suggest that there's 20 to 40 million acre feet of water stored in these aquifers. That's more than California's top 100 reservoirs combined. That water is essential for agriculture, for hydropower, water for people, and of course, water for fish and wildlife. During dry years, the springs up in the Shasta area and throughout the Sierras are especially important for providing cold water and flow for fish, native ecosystems, as well as flows 
downstream for hydroelectric power production and water supply for agriculture and cities. The crazy thing about this is we don't fully understand these aquifers. We don't understand the recharge zones. We don't understand the total storage capacity. And we really don't understand the human impact. It's impossible to manage what you don't understand. So California Trout is forming partnerships and developing a foundation of science so that we can inform management decisions moving forward. The stunning Mount Shasta area, abundant spring water, feeding some of the most iconic trout streams in the world, and also providing a vital source of water for people downstream. All of the water emerging from Mount Shasta Springs is captured in Shasta Reservoir and distributed statewide. The Sierra and Mount Shasta areas, two vital source water regions for California. So how does that water get to you? Similar to spring rivers emanating from the Mount Shasta area, Sierra rivers are captured in large reservoirs that flank the Sierra. From these reservoirs, the captured source water enters a system of canals, pumps, and pipes that is one of the most extensive water delivery systems in the world. From the source, traveling hundreds of miles to you. Are you starting to see the connection? Does it make a difference if you live in far Northern California, or in the Bay Area, or Central California, Imperial Valley, or here in Southern California? We're all interconnected with each other. We have to conserve and manage our water. That's why senators, as well as assembly members and other public officials in Southern California are working really hard to make sure that we have water security for the whole state of California. We're all doing a lot in Southern California to conserve our water, but we also have to make sure that the source areas that that water originates from is preserved. We all rely on clean water for our health. Preserving the Shasta Springs area and the Sierras means a healthy Southern California. There are some things we need to do right now, and that is we need to invest in our watersheds. We need to make sure our forests are healthy. We have 40 million dead trees due to drought. We need to thin those trees out. We need to open up the canopy, and we need to allow our meadows to do what it's designed to do. We need to do a lot better job of maintaining the health of our watersheds, since that's where our water supply actually comes from. So improved forestry management, restoring the Sierra Meadows, is going to be really important in the future. If we restore wetlands in the Sierra Nevada and the Cascade Mountains, that can have tremendous beneficial impacts to our water supply. So you see, water doesn't simply come from the tap. It comes from natural areas that require attention and protection to guarantee California's water security. Healthy water sources, as well as healthy fish and wildlife, means healthy water for each and every one of us. It's absolutely critical to our way of life that we conserve and manage our water properly. My grandfather came to California as a homesteader. I have deep roots in this state, and I love California. Our watersheds and the Sierras are my home. If the watersheds are, are strong and thriving, then all of California is going to be able to thrive. The farms, the cities will have water, the environment, the fish, and the wildlife. I have three children. I want to pass along to them what my grandfather was able to sustain and pass along to me.
uh, coming by pipe, huge pipe, but uh, I don't really know exactly where does the water come from. From the beautiful Mount Shasta, the Alpine regions, that's crystal pure water filtered down through thousands of feet of volcanic rock. Comes out tributaries, the beginning of the headwater, Sacramento River, nourishes all of California. Do you know where Los Angeles gets its water from? Um, no, I don't. You know, LA gets its water from uh, these beautiful mountains we have in California, the Sierra Mountains. It snows up there, the snow melts in the spring, flows down into these great meadows, percolates down into the groundwater, eventually flows into the Owens River, and ends up in Los Angeles.